This is Jackson's MMA Series.com with Joey Villasenor. Uh Joey, you were recently added as the main event uh, for Jackson's MMA Series 6. Um, what are your thoughts about um, fighting here in Albuquerque in New Mexico on, um, on a Jackson's card and headlining it? Well, you know, it feels great. You know, it's, uh, um, I'm very honored and I'm very happy. You know, um, I had a fight fall through in England. I dropped 20 pounds. Uh, I talked to Ricky and Greg about uh, possibly helping me get a fight just because I had put so much effort in, in uh, competing overseas. And uh, they're able to pull it out, you know, with the help of my manager, you know, um, um, Ricky and Greg. But uh, you, my main focus point is it's my first time fighting at 170. So, um, you know, it's going to be great to be able to cut weight and do it here at home, you know, and, and give it a trial run, you know. Um, I've got a tough opponent uh, that I'm going to be fighting. Uh, competing against and uh, you know I look forward to the challenge you know um, dropping down to 170 is 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 uh, it's been uh, it's been a lot of hard work you know and 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 uh, I love hard work so you know I'm, I'm enjoying this whole process uh, not so much uh, with uh, not being able to eat pizza and <laughs> certain certain things you know I'm really strict on my diet but uh, to fight at home, you know, I've fought in front of, uh, of crowds of over 40,000 before, and but there's nothing like a few thousand screaming uh, New Mexicans, you know, there's nothing like fighting at home, although uh, they'll, they'll be heard louder than, than uh, I've been, louder than any arena I've been in, in Japan or, or, or England or overseas, you know, fighting at home is, is huge for me, it's, it's, it's an honor. And you know, you mentioned your drop down to 170. You're, you know, you're, you're really shredded. You, you look really quick, really fit. Um, how, how does that feel? You know, going in at 170. Well, it feels good right now. You know, it feels really good right now. Of course, uh, you know, I have some great training partners at 170. You know, um, and uh, you know, to, to, to see, you know, to, to drop 20 pounds, walk around weight, and to be walking around 190. You know, it's uh, it takes some effort, but you know what? Um, I feel good though. You know, I've I've uh, I've been real competitive at 185. You know, I've been real competitive. I fought with some of the best. You know, um, and uh, it was just time for me to evolve with the sport. You know, and and uh, I, I you know I I became a small 185er. You know, so now it's time to drop down into the proper weight class and evolve with the sport and. Uh, that proper weight class is 170. You know, um, I feel great there. Uh, my teammates um, and coaches can see a big difference. Uh, there's a big difference in my physique um, and my endurance. So you know, um, it's it's exciting so far. You know, it's exciting right now, and uh, I feel really good. I feel really good and, and strong and, and uh, comfortable. Uh, like I said, you know, really competitive at 185. Uh, I think 170 is like a, a new lease on on uh, my fighting career. And you know, t um, facing Chuck Parmalee in the main event here at Jackson's MMA Series Six on October 22nd, um, he he's had a, a, a string of knockouts and he has some um, pretty good punching power. Um, you know, and he, in another interview, he said he's looking, you know, to basically knock you out. He thinks he can do it. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? Well, I think everybody's got to hype themselves up somehow. They got to, you know, you, you don't compete, um, you know, like uh, you, you don't compete uh, to just get a paycheck. You got to believe that you can do these things. So I think he's really trying to convince himself. Now, I think he went a little overboard with the whole knocking me out i've never been knocked out in my career and i've i've had close to 40 fights now i know he's had more fights than me um but uh you know i'm not i'm not uh your everyday joe fighter you know i'm actual professional fighter um you know um, i do i respect his ability to, and uh that anything can happen of course i respect it you know um, anything can happen and and uh, does it make me fearful now no it doesn't make me fearful and you know, um, I'm not going to say that I'm, I'm, I'm going to go knock Chuck out because, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, fights develop and, and uh, you go with, with that moment. You know, you dig deep and you go with that moment. So, um, you know, all I'm looking forward to is just, uh, you know, I'm doing my best and putting my best uh, foot forward and uh, executing what I need to execute. And uh, that's all I'm concerned about. I'm not concerned about what uh, what Parmalee has to say or what he he plans on doing. Um, you know, um, I understand that uh, you got to motivate yourself for fights. And and uh, you know, I mean, uh, as you know, like 
that's a that's a that's a big one to to to, to, to accomplish. You know, um, I I take pride in my defense, and um, you know, but uh, shoot, man, I you know, I I totally I guess I understand where he's coming from. He's he's got to convince himself of something positive. Okay, and um, you know, thinking about this card, uh, you've been in the corner for the previous MMA series, you know, over at the Hard Rock, you know, um, coaching the guys here on this team. Um, you know, being the main event, um, being one of the senior, um, you know, veteran fighters here, one of the founding members of Jackson's, what does it, what is it like to actually um, headline the main event with all the other team fighting and participating as well? Well, you know, I, th I think that... Uh uh, for the other athletes, you know, I've had a lot of the younger fighters say it's an honor to fight on the same card. You know, for me, it's an honor to fight with my up-and-coming teammates. You know, for me, it's an honor to fight at home. You know, um, you know, uh, whether it's a, a huge venue or a small venue, televised, not televised, I, I really don't care. You know, all I care about is competing. I love to compete. And when you have a team and a family atmosphere like we're going to have on Jackson Series, it's an honor for me. You know, like... Uh, you know, there's a lot of my teammates that uh, are up and coming, and and uh, you know, to to, to you know, like uh, I usually corner Matt Leva. While well, this time I'm not going to be able to because I'm going to be fighting next to him. You know, so uh, it's an honor for me to actually be able to compete with some of my peers and teammates. You know, and uh, you know, um, uh, it's just it's just great to be fighting at home. You know, um, I'm just really blessed and and glad that I have such a, a great team and a and, uh, group of people around me to just get me this fight you know they they saw my hard work and effort and uh, they're you know they're they're really uh, they're stepping up for me you know and uh, you know I, I'm, I'm just uh, really appreciative that uh, I get to do it at home and who would you like to acknowledge or thank any sponsors uh, coaches well of course uh, the Jackson's uh, Winkle John uh, coaching staff um, Chris Trell um, uh, my manager Jahani, uh, Curl, um, uh, MMA Weekly, um, they've always been big supporters of me, um, let me see, uh, Lethal Performance, um, my friends and family are um, in Los Angeles, California, uh, here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Farmington, New Mexico, and uh, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, all the veterans, you know, all veterans of um, um, out there, you know, um, thank you for for uh, all that you've given for us, you know, uh, to us, and yeah, that's it, man. That's where it's stand right now. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing you fight on October twenty second, both um, at the Hard Rock and also at, on the live stream um, off of Jacksonsmmaserves dot com. And good luck.